Do you love jeans? And are you wearing the ones that best suit your body shape? I'm Sheila and this is Chic and Confident, a channel for women over 50 who want to dress well with ease. For the best style tips, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell and you'll be notified every Tuesday when I upload a new video. Most of us wear jeans and some of us love jeans, but others just can't seem to get that fit right. So today I'm going to show you how to wear jeans to suit your body shape. The first thing you'll want to consider is your body shape. We are all shaped differently. We're shaped differently horizontally and vertically. Here are five body shapes that I'm going to talk about in relation to jeans. The first one is a triangle body shape. Generally, the triangle body shape has narrow shoulders, a small bust, a small waist, and larger hips, and usually larger thighs. This person can be 5'2", they can be 5'10". Height doesn't matter, it's the body shape. The second one is the inverted triangle body shape. This person has wide shoulders, a large bust, a more less defined waist, a narrow hips, a flat derriere, and slim legs. The next one is the oval body shape. This person has a large bust, a large tummy, and somewhat large hips. The fourth one is a rectangle shape. This person doesn't have many curves at all. So their shoulders, their hips, and their waist are kind of all the same, and they're usually thin. And the last one is the hourglass shape. This person has a large bust, has a small defined waistline, and curved hips. And even though you might not fall directly into one of those body shapes, you will come really close to it. The next thing we want to consider is vertical measurements. Now we could have two women who are exactly the same height, same weight, but their measurements are different vertically. So that means when it comes to jeans, if your waist is short or if your waist is long, the type of jeans is going to be different for you. So it's important to know where your length is. The goal here is balance. In order to create a really nice look, you need to have balance. So if you choose the right jeans for your body shape, you will create that balance. The thing I love about clothes is their ability to create illusions. So when you know how to use clothes in conjunction with your body shape, you can create a visual, any visual that you want. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about how you can do that with jeans. So first let's talk about the rise of jeans. They can be a low rise, medium rise, or high rise. And as I said before, depending on the length of your waist, certain jeans will look better on you than others. So if you have a short waist, you'll want to create more length. And that means you'll want to wear jeans that are lower. So if you wear high-waisted jeans and you have a short waist, your waist is going to look much shorter. Mm -hmm. So you might be thinking, how do I know if I have a short waist? One way to do this is look in a full-length mirror, create an imaginary line where your legs meet your hips, and then notice if your upper half or lower half is longer. So if you have long legs, you probably have a shorter waist. If you have short legs, you probably have a longer waist. This is just a quick way to do this. And I do have a more precise measurement system that I use with my clients. So if this is something you're interested in, you can always go down in the description box, grab my email, and let me know that you want to find out more about your vertical measurements. So now let's talk about the shape of the jean leg. You can get wide leg, you can get boot cut, you can get skinny leg, you can get straight leg. So which one is best for you? Skinny leg jeans accentuate your leg shape. So if your legs are smaller or small, they will make them look smaller. If they're large, they will make them look larger. Based on body shapes, the skinny leg looks best on hourglass body shapes, rectangle body shapes, and the triangle body shape. Wide leg jeans look better on inverted triangle body shape and on rectangle body shape. The best leg shape, the one that suits most body shapes, is the boot cut. The other thing about a boot cut is it's classic, it's always in style. So now let's talk about pockets and their placement. If you have a small or a flat derriere and you want it to look larger, choose pockets that have light stitching on them. They create a larger look. And if you have a larger derriere and you want it to look smaller, you can choose pockets without 
noticeable stitching. So let's look at the jeans from the back and look at the pockets. The pockets are the focal point. So depending on the size of the pockets, how much they stand out, and where you put them, or where they're placed, that will make a difference on how your butt looks. So if you have small pockets that are closer together and higher up, it will lift your butt. If you have larger pockets or any pocket that is low, it brings the eye down and your derriere butt will look like it's droopy. And we don't want that. So in order to bring it up, bring the pockets up, use smaller pockets closer together. And I would suggest before you buy your jeans, take a look from the back to see if it's the look you want. And the last thing is the color of the denim. You can get dark wash, lighter wash, and then really light. Darker wash jeans are more classy and they are more slimming. And in my opinion, they're easier to mix and match. So it's a personal preference what color wash you choose. And maybe you could choose all of them. But just take into consideration what look you want. And if you want to appear larger, if you want to appear uh, slimmer, then you can choose your wash more wisely. Something else you want to be aware of is the tightness of the jeans. Because most jeans have stretch, it's easy to go smaller and have tighter jeans. But sometimes that little bit smaller creates a bump. And if you just went to a larger size, you wouldn't have it. If you'd like to know more about how to dress for your body shape, you can download my guide and I will put the link for that down in the description box. Thanks for watching and if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and keep on styling.